Welcome to the place where we can talk about TV. Let's do some news. First up, something that made me go, and then made me go, hmm. CBS is planning another CSI spin-off. Now, I'm not a big fan of any show that tells me one closed off story every episode, and that story is usually exactly the same with very little overall plot progression or character development. So naturally, most of the crime dramas out there are not a big deal for me. But apparently this show is going to be focused on a cyber crime division of the FBI. And the reason that's just a little bit more interesting to me is that one of my biggest problems with most crime dramas is literally every aspect of technology in these shows. From characters smacking away at a keyboard for two seconds and then somehow magically having all the information they need, to solving pretty much every crime with the very loose phrase of cross-referencing. Hey, I want you to cross-reference all the sex offenders in the area with people who drive light blue vans and who were disappointed with the new episodes of The Walking Dead. The original creators of CSI are on board as executive producers, along with Jerry Bruckheimer. Moving on to a show I'm personally very excited about, the TV adaptation of Constantine. The show that's being made by NBC has cast its lead role, and John Constantine will be Welsh actor Matt Ryan. You might have heard Ryan on Assassin's Creed Black Flag as Edward Kenway, or seen him as Mick Rawson on Criminal Minds Suspect Behavior. Personally, I was hoping for an older, more rugged John Constantine, because I thought they'd want to distance themselves as much as they could from the Keanu Reeves version. Now, I heard a lot of people say that that movie was so bad it's good. But, uh, no. <laughs> it was pretty bad. Anyway, with so many comic book TV shows going on right now, Arrow, S.H.I.E.L.D., Gotham, and the upcoming Flash, I'm really interested to see how Constantine will fit in and stack up against these shows. Hopefully it will be better. Billy Bob Thornton is starring in the TV adaptation of Fargo, the 1996 film by the Coen brothers. The Coen brothers themselves are back as executive producers, but the show will have new characters and a completely new story. So far, Colin Hanks and Martin Freeman have also been added to the bill, with Billy Bob in the lead, as Drifter Lorne Malvo. A 30 second teaser has been released and you can look at it with your faces, links below. And now, more things. Sci-Fi is canceling Almost Human. If you haven't watched it, Almost Human is a show about a werewolf, a vampire and a ghost that all live together. The show will be going off the air at the end of its fourth season. And you can watch a video of the lead actors thanking the fans and saying their goodbyes. Unless you don't live in the US. Because fuck the fans who don't live in the US. We don't want to thank you. Luckily, I haven't watched it yet, so I'm not offended. So there, you got off easy this time. Sci-fi, actors, almost human. Moving on. Actor Samuel Anderson will be joining the next season of Doctor Who. Yes! Doctor Who News. I don't even care what it is. Anderson will be taking on the role of Danny Pink, a teacher at the school where current companion Clara Oswald teaches, and by the way, the same school where the first companions, Ian Chesterton and Barbara Wright, also taught. Anderson is expected to join Clara and Peter Capaldi's doctor as a new companion. I'm just hoping he's not gonna be exactly Mickey the same, because they kind of they kind of look at they kind of look alike, don't you? Uh, it's, uh, there's something, there's something. And lastly, a new trailer is out for Mike Judge's new comedy Silicon Valley, which will air on HBO. Mike Judge, who is the guy behind freaking Beavis and Butthead, and HBO, which is freaking HBO, means that yes, I am liking this and I am in. Links to the trailer below. What I meant to say was. Links to the trailer below. That's it for me. If you like the show, please consider subscribing. And I leave you with one question. What TV show from recent years should, in your opinion, be made into a movie? Leave your answers in the comments below, and I will see you next week.